Good morning, guys. This is how we are starting today's... It's going up my nose instead of my glasses. <laughs> Picking my nose. We're making a cup of tea. I've just put Mabel down for her nap. Honestly, this morning was one of those mornings where I was like, can't wait to vlog again. I'm going to get up, going to vlog. It was just chaos, like every other morning of our life. So why did I think that I would be able to even get the camera out or think about doing that? The girls literally are just on the move. Amber's like full on, just like, she's three now guys. She's, well, she's not three yet. She's three in, well, April. It's coming up to her being three. And everyone says three is even more exhausting than everyone says terrible twos. No, it's tantrum threes or something like that. Um, and you know, guys, I'm, yeah, it's because they are just full on. And then you've got Mabel who is like exploring and she's basically walking now. So she's a, such a climber. She's up, literally like up here, there, everywhere. And we're just like, I can't, I can't even, can't even look straight guys. But like I said in the last video, I'm going to put, I'm going to stop putting off coming on the vlog just looking like this after a chaotic morning and I'm just gonna start and I'm just gonna talk and I'm just gonna do life as it is, you know? However messy, however whatever that looks like. Um, and as well, towards, I feel like there'll always be in my head what I think like, oh, they're too, it's too like boring to vlog and like do today because it's like a filming day, I'm doing collab content, I'm doing editing, I'm doing stuff like that. But towards the end of last year, like, we really decided that it was time to like get our work-life balance like on point because Amber was just getting to an age where she is just clued up about everything. She wants to know what we're doing. She, you know, wants to know, she, she just knows everything. And we were like, right, we need a better balance with, we work like just all our work goes on the days where Amber is with our parents. Um, and then when we're with her, we're, we're present and we're not doing bits and bobs here and there because it just doesn't work. And we just, we, we really wanted to nail that kind of, balance a bit more um so that's why then i'm going to be picking up the camera and we're going to be vlogging on the days which are we call them our filming days because um the majority of our work content is based around filming and editing for like tiktok and instagram and stuff like that so yeah so i'm basically just taking you guys through i don't know how many days this will be over again like it depends how much footage i get today and how how boring we are guys how long it extends over but um, yeah, that was today. Anyway, today is actually pancake day. I'm literally traumatized, guys. I just went on Pinterest to get a cute pancake quote about like a, a, like a nice feel good self love one I wanted to put on my story. In the end, I did find one, but I'm traumatized by what else I found. I did the happy pancake day. You were not placed, can you see that? You were not placed on this earth to shrink your body until you die. That is just, when you see it written like that, you're like, well, obviously not. But yet we so easily, like our daily life can revolve around like mirror checks, how we look, what weight am I, what size am I? Like, oh, it's exhausting. So yeah, I wanted to get something like that. So that's why I went on Pinterest. I was flooded before I even found any positive quotes because I typed in eating quote or something like that. These quotes like this one, junk food you've craved for an hour or the body you've craved for a lifetime your decision. 2024. What is that doing on Pinterest? I'm very passionate about this, guys, as you know. I don't even know where to start on this, and I'm not even going to talk about it that long because I'll literally do an hour-long vlog talking about it. All I'm going to say about this quote is, when I was a size six, when I had a flat stomach, when my whole life revolved around that type of quote, my whole value um, everything came from how I looked. I was less happy. I was less confident. I was having less good sex. I was having less, I had less friends. I had less hobbies. I had less to talk about. I loved my life less. I am so happy now that I am a size, however many more sizes than I was back then. My stomach will never be flat again. I will always be soft. I will always be squishy. I will always be me. I just can't even like, Please, please, please. That's all I'm gonna say. You deserve to be happy as you are now. You can be happy as you are now. I am never saying that you can't have health goals, that you can't have fitness goals. You guys know, I love it. My January thing was to move every day, to look after our bodies, to be self-care. But that's got nothing to do with that quote, which is just 
so damaging in so many ways. Like living your life to reach that body goal that you create. Like, no, you, you, you just are not going to be fulfilled when you get there if that is the only thing that you care about and that is the only reason that you want to get there and you hate yourself on that journey and you oh you're just so you're just so amazing and i wish you could see it anyway i'm talking to anyone that that needed to hear that today um look how cute this mug is but like i said i'm not because i'm really passionate about it i'm really passionate about it and i know a lot of you guys know that who've been here for a long time because I've been on my own journey over years and years and years and years. Look how cute this little mug is. It says Amber and Mabel. So cute. She's so lovely, the lady that makes these. She's from Cardiff. <laughs> and, which is where we live. Um, at the moment, because guys, we are actually moving. Not very far away, but it technically isn't Cardiff anymore. And I need to update you about that as well. But first, I've just got to sort this out. I'm going to sit now, have my cup of tea, try and forget about those Pinterest quotes I heard. Um, oh, I always, I'm always looking for the sugar when I'm vlogging and you guys, you guys are on the sugar. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little drink of this tea now and then I'm gonna go and sort myself out. Just, just one of those mornings where like, you know when you just feel groggy, you just feel greasy, you just are greasy because you haven't washed your hair near enough times, nearly enough times. Yeah, we travelled yesterday, we travelled back from Manchester, we had a meeting in Manchester, so we travelled back, it was a travelling day. I just feel gross, so I'm just gonna go in the shower, wash my hair, scrub those Pinterest quotes out of my brain, and then we can crack on with the day. Right, fresh out the shower. Feeling fresher, but still just feeling like, ugh. So I'm gonna get ready. Um, this little light, show you this guys just wait for it the brightness wait so don't clip that on there is it too heavy james has come back he's downstairs it's so so like it's literally foggy today it's so um like gloomy it's given proper gloomy weather lately um rainy like oh, i'm just so ready for spring i'm manifesting spring guys with all my outfits i got the flowy summer dress on like everything i'm wearing i'm just trying to get into the spring feels just about to try this you guys know i've got very thin hair my thin thin hair girlies this the reviews of this this is meant to take my hair to the ceiling if my hair's not standing like that after i've tried this i'll be very disappointed because the reviews are unreal so i've just done the volume product you basically put it in your hair so i have wet hair did my makeup put the mousse in my hair i've just spent a little bit of time brushing it down that's how much like volume it was given my root like the bouncy roots <laughs> i'm obsessed well, it is a few hours later now we've got the filming setup going we just filmed a little a pancake day out of it this i felt looked like pancake sauce it was giving me sauce vibes i actually did like a little tucked in tucked in moment here i got like a super stretchy there's like a skims top underneath which is so stretchy stretchy leggings for bloat it was basically a bloat friendly pancake day outfit which we all need ignore very messy we're having a big clothes organized always always organizing our clothes aren't we hi cheeky hi cheeky look at that hi hi oh hi are you going to show your new skills hi 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 is that mabel and mommy hi so yes we've had a little Hi, we've had a little matching beige moment. Yeah. Hi. And we've been practicing our walk yeah. ready. Oh, shut this cupboard. Ready? Oh! James is, where is James? <laughs> I think I can hear him organizing something, doing laundry. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I need to go and get my clean clothes and put them away. <laughs> We still like doing our night night. Uh, oh, good time. Wake good time. Um, oh, wake up time. Oh, wake up time. Oh, wake up time. Oh, you're so lush. You're so lush, Miss Mabel. I'm not happy. There's Jim. I just hit my funny what? bone. Oh no. And it just wasn't funny. It's not funny, is it, when you hit I your was funny just bone? Doing my chores. <laughs> 
I was putting Amber's clothes away, yeah. walked into her room with all of her clothes in my arms, banging Bash. on the door. Not nice. Not happy. Not a happy Benny belly. Bones. Not the UK. <laughs> That's really painful. I had to sit on the floor for a minute <laughs> and do my breathing. And take a breath. Because, you know, it was just... <laughs> it was painful and outrageous. <laughs> I love... <laughs> she, lo <laughs> she loves <laughs> pulling hair. <laughs> Are you trying to talk? Whenever she's in the carrier on my back now, she's always just like... I know. She loves pulling her own hair. hair. She like, like, loves oh, oh, oh. And Amber's hair. Amber's so gentle, bless her. She goes, no thank you, no thank you, <laughs> no, thank you. no thank you Mabel. And we just hear it in the playroom, we just know Mabel's there like, hair, long hair. Does that remind you of Amber? See, there's your hair. Where's your hair? Where's your, Where's your hair? Yes. A few hours later, I said a few hours later, definitely not a few hours, maybe like 40 minutes later. I think from when I just filmed, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I've lost the plot guys, I've lost the findings of the day. So James and Amber have, not Amber, James, I'm losing it. It's this time of day, it's definitely about four o'clock, yeah, it's half three. Half three, four, I lose my head. I lose my head, literally. I'm ready for bed. I've just whipped off, whipped off all my makeup. My skin is feeling so fresh. I honestly, I just tried a new cleanser. I am having flare up at the moment with eczema. I think I figured out my last flare up, this one, was because of nail polish. So I used to do my gel nails, you guys might remember. I was a gel nail, like, lover. I got my at home gel nail kit in 2022. I remember it was when we went to France for that month um, in May, and I was like doing them all the time. Then, I don't know if you guys remember, but I basically had really bad eye eczema. Well, basically eczema like on my face kept flaring and flaring and it's really linked to gel nails. And I was just like ignoring it for so long that it could be anything to do with my gel nails because they brought me so much happiness. Anyway, in the end, I ended up ditching the gel nails way further down the line when I was on my real like, I need to find out what's triggering my eczema. Amazingly, my eye eczema, I never, 100% link it to the gel nails because it took a long time like I didn't really stop gel nails then the next week or two like it, my eye eczema when it was kind of like I can't remember the time scales but it wasn't like oh my god it was obviously that but things stay in your system for so long and flares can take so long to go away mine do anyway um but basically since I stopped doing my gel nails I haven't had a single bad flare on my eyelids Actually, my eczema had been really calm lately. Then I hadn't actually painted my nails since stopping doing my gel nails. So it'd literally been a long time since anything had been on my nails. Then I painted my nails when we went to the factory in Turkey. So I, th I was telling you about that in the last vlog, wasn't I, guys? That we were booking to go to the factory in Turkey because we're starting the jeans brand. So we're starting like a brand which is going to specialise in basically creating the perfect jeans because it's just been a passion of mine for a long time and I can't wait to actually bring it to life. It's going to be unreal, guys. I'm so excited. Anyway, painted my nails white to go to the Turkey factory and I had a massive flare up. So I basically put that down to the nail polish, took it all off and... I'm trying to work on the flare up going down now. But I was sidetracked then. I was meant to be saying something else and I can't remember what. But James and Mabel, Amber's coming home really soon. James and Mabel have popped to the supermarket to get like pancake stuff. Cause we're gonna do like a proper pancake making station tonight. I think Amber's actually been making pancakes with James's mum um, this afternoon, which is so fun. Cause she texted me like, are you planning on making pancakes with Amber? Um, today I think she like didn't want to make them if we wanted to make them I was like make them she will love it and honestly it'll make her look forward to making them here even more if she's already done it she'll be like trying to teach me how to make a pancake when she gets back home come out Mills do you want to go out you going outside it's raining oh baby not feeling it <laughs> you're so sweet she'll wait by the door and you're literally like do you want to go outside she'll look out and be like it's raining i'm totally feeling you babes me and me and daddy are not not fans of this weather are we we are literally feeling the sad today feeling the seasonal affective disorder today it's a struggle it's so gloomy it's so great it's so dark it's so miserable 
just trying to focus on the little things that bring us happiness like pancake day is probably why we're making such a big deal out of it and just celebrating like having happy pancakes with the girls it's gonna be good so yes this is my little station so far and then james has gone to pick up some more chocolate and like fruit strawberries bananas other little bits that we're gonna put on there so that'll be fun and that's what we're doing really for the rest of the day the other thing i needed to catch you guys up on which i think i mentioned earlier and then forgot to tell you about was the house situation moving house in the last video we basically on oh my battery side is popping up we basically said that we'd found a house that we've fallen in love with and we absolutely did fall in love with it like it is i'm just i tried not to get like head over heels in love with it and i just couldn't like we just loved it we just felt like at home it was just like oh we just haven't had a feeling like that since we started looking for houses even though this was our third house that we've gone for like as in two have fallen through before this um so we've gone for it now but we are kind of like just really not getting too excited about it because like i said the other two houses that we've gone for have like not happened something's happened along the way that just hasn't it just kind of hasn't gone through lots of things can happen during the process um so yeah we've 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 had an offer accepted on it we're in love but they the chain is not complete so that's the next step is just waiting really which is you just want to know updates every day like is the chain complete yet is the chain complete yet do we have a moving date it's like way down the line but we'll see we'll see hello hello this is literally my sixth cup of tea today james don't judge me i'm a teapot hello hello vicky boo how are you we went shopping didn't we you're so keen did you have fun that's a strong word for just yeah. going to the supermarket but we got it done got it done did you get pancake stuff i think i did Oh my gosh, guys, also look what this look what um, Amber made for my dad the other day. Look how cute this is! So cute! It reminds me of like the stuff we used to do at school. She always comes home from like my parents or James's parents with like little drawings or things she's been up to and it just melts our hearts and like she tells us all the stories about what she's done. So yeah, oh, Amber's yes. coming back soon. I'm meant to be editing now until she comes back. James is gonna try and get a gym session in, get those endorphins going, get Woo! rid of that sad. Get rid of that sad. Come on. I think I might try and do a spin workout once the girls have gone to bed as well, but that's ambitious, so we'll see. Clap, clap, clapping, clapping. We don't have no sad. We don't have no sad around here. We don't have no sad around here. We are happy, happy, happy. Is it too much? Yeah. Good morning, guys. It is now the next day. Oh, let me grab the key. Um, we had a great pancake day last night, shoving my phone in my bra, getting the gym key. Mabel's gone down for her nap, and I'm gonna try and get a workout in. James is doing, <laughs> still in his pajamas, doing boring <laughs> contract work. It's Boo! Thing to do. It's it's got... so much fun, guys. Whoa, it's windy out here. Oh, I'm blowing away. I'm blowing away, girl. <laughs> I'm blowing away. All right, have fun doing that contract. Yeah, bye. Yeah, we have basically got a massive boring contract that we're going through at the moment. James's mum is a solicitor, so it's always so good. James and his mum go through all the contracts together. They've done so many contracts over the years together. He's learned so much that he's actually able to kind of really get a good understanding by himself. Spin shoes on. Just cracking on here, guys. We don't have much time, you know. We have to... I already stalled for like half an hour editing some well it wasn't really stalling it was editing but doing some editing that didn't necessarily need to be done oh i need a wee how did i not notice i needed a wee right take these off go for a wee because i'm not even gonna attempt a spin workout when i need a wee it's uncomfy enough even when you don't need a wee on this spin seat bless his heart working hard in there while I go to the gym and yeah um Mabel is napping I think I said that earlier and Amber has gone to see the Gruffalo with my mum how cute is that so I think it's in oh, I can't remember where it is now what the place is but um it's a little show I don't know what it's going to be like to be honest whether it's going to be like I don't know but she'll tell me all about it when she gets back but She's obsessed with the Gruffalo. She absolutely loves it. And this one's actually called the Gruffalo's Child. Dun, 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 dun. 
Let's see which one we should do. I just love these because they're so quick. Oh, it's Valentine's Day today. Maybe we should do a Valentine's Day ride. Hmm, I'm thinking. My fave person, guys, is Hannah Franks and she's awesome. I love her so much. There's my girl, there she is. Oh, let's do that one then. Let's do 15 minute R&B ride with Hannah. Sorry if this is such boring content. You clip your cleats in. Ready? Ugh, clipped in. Okay, and we're ready to go. Oh my gosh, the seat is so low down. <laughs> I just remembered I put the seat like so low to see if Amber could have a go on it because we came in here together the other day. That's better. We're ready to go. You can see me on the screen. Excited to do the 15 minute R&B ride on Love Me. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, guys, it's so feel good. So good. It's been done. A little bit sweaty, but my aim was to not actually get too sweaty because I am having an eczema flare up at the moment. It's actually so calm at the moment, guys. I just did a story. I just posted a story on Instagram about this product that I basically saw on TikTok. Like, honestly, TikTok, I feel like it's the same with all social media, really. Like, it can be so toxic in so many ways, but then, like, it's so addictive, it's so, like, and the stuff you can see on there can be so toxic. But then the other sort of stuff you can see on there, it's just, like, life-changing, like, little hacks, little recipes, like, things like that. Like, some of the stuff, that I, like, or tips that I've gotten off TikTok, I am, like, I'm, I'm just love, like how could I live without? So this is basically called Sicker Plast. I'll show you it when I go upstairs. But basically I saw it on TikTok for sebaceous filaments. Um, you're not gonna be able to see on this. Oh yeah, what about if I do that? The default, um, default, what's it called? Setting on this camera. I know I've said it a few times. It's like, got like a, like, like smoothing on my skin. So please never think my skin actually looks like that. Like. There, that's not smooth now on my skin. But then when you come back into contact, it kind of like smooths it out. It's the default setting, and you've probably, if you've been around, seen times on the vlogs where I've accidentally fiddled with the settings and the image stabilization has gone off and it literally, everyone's commenting like, I feel seasick, because the camera's like, Shh. you don't realize how much of a difference image stabilization makes, because you guys know I'm a blooming shaky, frantic vlogger as it is, even with the image stabilization on. So when it's off, it's literally like, oh my gosh. So I got into a habit of every time I vlog, like resetting the settings and just like making sure they were all like as they were. Um, so anyway, what, what, that's a very boring story, but I was telling you about my sebaceous filaments, which I thought were blackheads until I read into it. And they're basically, there's a statement. So then I saw all over TikTok that it was, we like try and squeeze them or we exfoliate them. We do all this stuff to get rid of them and they just like kind of always gonna come back. The best thing for it is actually hydration. So basically I saw that this person who I love on TikTok, she's such a like minimalist skincare person. Um, she was saying you just cleanse, you put it on, you put it there. If you've got oily, like clog prone pores, don't put it all over your face. Like she doesn't put it all over her face. She just puts it where she has the sebaceous filaments. Um, I obviously naturally have very dry skin, so I kind of have the opposite. So I've been using it kind of like in larger areas and it's been absolutely fine. But you basically just cleanse, do your skincare routine as normal in the evening, put it on that little bit of your nose and you wake up and like, let me show you. Look, where's my filament? Where's my filament, guys? Look on. Usually it's like pop, 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 which is why I'm like, when I'm stressed, I'm like squeezing them and stuff, even though they're just like, I just make my nose go numb. Anyway, oh, I can hear. Navel waking up. Oh yeah, I can see James going to get her. I still, even though James is in the house with the thing, I still like keep the um, monitor thing on my phone just because I love to know when she's waking up. So yeah, that was like, oh my God. And then when I posted that on my story and basically said that I was trying it for the sebaceous filaments, loads of people said, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> loads of people basically said, she's just lying there like waking up slowly. Um, yeah, loads of people basically said to use it for eczema. They were like, this has been the best thing I've used for eczema. There's basically like a really kind of like thick hydrating balm. Um, so I tried it for my eczema. And like I said, I woke up after the first 24 hours. I had matching flare-ups on each arms as I like often get. 
and I basically put it on this arm and not this arm and I took a picture the next morning it was crazy this one was so calm so smooth like my eczema never feels like smooth it was like bonkers now I've just started putting it everywhere because I'm like and I just ordered for like four more tubes today because it is in a sale yeah it's the Sikaplast balm <sighs> life changing guys my filaments I've got nothing to squeeze now when I'm stressed they're just like so they will probably come back but if every night I cleanse and like put the balm on I'm assuming it's gonna stay like that like no more filaments mm, mm, mm. um yeah and I'm really hoping that it's gonna help with my eczema too because I really just like hate hate using my steroids so I was gonna do a little bit of shoulders and back and then go see Miss Mabel look at her she's just like dozing off again <laughs> Night, mum. I can't believe she's literally one years old, guys, in three weeks. I can't cope with that. No. Good morning. <laughs> You're so cute. So this, guys, is the thing that I was talking about. That's the wrong way around. It's this. In case anyone wanted to try it. You want to try it? You want to try it? You love holding all my makeup bottles, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> You're so cheeky. <laughs> so I've just gotten ready for the day. Amber is home now. Um, we've got like a kind of semi-matching outfit today. It's for Valentine's Day, but we're gonna go out on our little date date earlier together. Mummy and daughter today, so um we've got a little matchy matchy on. Look at the toys. Look at the toys. Are you climbing? Are you climbing? This is Mabel's favourite thing to do. She loves climbing, going down this little slide. Like, it's just, you're a climber, you're an explorer, aren't you? Me and Am's are matchy matchy today, aren't we, baby? We're matchy matchy for our cookie and coffee day. What are you doing? To find my yeah. bouncy ball. Oh, it's going to be in one of these baskets, is it? Yeah. Oh dear, that might be a long time to find. <gasps> There's my socks. I was looking for those. Just playing here together all day. All day. Don't you, Gillies? We can't go all day. Yeah. We need to go to the coffee shop to get all the cookies to Mummy oh. and me and Mabel <gasps> and Daddy. You're right. We've got to get all the cookies from the coffee shop and bring hey, them. Yeah. I can have a gingerbread oh. cookie. And you can have a gingerbread cookie. Okay. And Mabel can have Okay, we'll have to see what we can find. A gingerbread house and a gingerbread house. A gingerbread house, a gingerbread. We learned that song, didn't we, at Christmas? So now we love gingerbread cookies. But I don't know if they'll have any. They often have them at Christmas time, Anne, so I don't know if they'll have gingerbread. They sometimes do do them all year round. We'll have to see. If not a gingerbread cookie, which other one? Paw Patrol cookie. All the cookies, we can have all the Paw Patrol cookies. Look at Mabel walking. Oh, you are loving it. And Mabel loves this. Amber was never really bothered, bothered with this too much, but you give him a hug. Ah, hugs. Ah, oh, she's so sweet. Where are you going? You got magnets. Hey, say hiya. Hi. Hi. Hi, we've just been saying mama, mama. Um, so, uh, sorry, you can probably hear the radio mumbling on there in the background. I've just done a, I think, ah. is it a few days later now? Ah. Yeah, it's a few days later. We didn't vlog yesterday, we went to ah. um, see, we went to have like a play date with one of our friends ah. who lives about an hour and a half away. So we did like a bit of a road trip um, down there and we had just like, we played at their house all day and then we came back. So um, that was yesterday. And then today has been Amber, James's mum and dad's. We've done a full kind of filming morning slash into the lunchtime, afternoon time. I don't even know what time it is. Um, but now we're gonna go out on a dog walk um, all together before Amber gets back. Um, just because I really miss going on dog walks. I used, can't believe that there was a time in my life where me and James used to go on every single dog walk every day together. And it's just like, that would just never, ha like could not happen now. There's so much to do um, and timings just work so differently. But it's so nice when we are able to go out on one together. So we're gonna do that today. Also guys, my, where are you going? My 66 days of movement. I don't even know how many days I got, but I feel I did better than I thought I was gonna do. 
but it definitely tailed off that I even, I even struggled to do the star jump before bed, guys. I was just like, some days were just not happening. So I still have in my head though, like trying to like, you know, keep moving and keep doing that. Cause I just love doing that for general endorphins. It keeps me sane, like doing some sort of spin workout once a week or something like that. And then, um, yeah, just moving as much as I can. Also guys, how cute are these little cuff things? So I only have my first, like my first earrings done like that. Um, I actually had my seconds done. Does anyone remember that when I had my one? Hi. Hi. <laughs> just doing your laundry. Just putting a wash on. <laughs> nice, you look nice fresh bed sheets, Mabel. You oh. had those last night, didn't you? Fresh sheets, we love it. Yeah, I did last night. Um, yay, clapping. Clapping for fresh bed sheets. Thanks, Daddy. Let me turn the radio off. What was I going to do? I was going to make a quick cup of tea before we go because... Um, Oh, I'm going to use that mug actually because James made me a lovely cup of tea earlier and it was one of those where I had a sip of it and then it went completely cold and I tried to drink the rest of it like it just cold tea just wasn't James did you want anything before we go tea coffee okay oh, yeah, I could take it in a little travel travel mug hi hi so I did have that and then I only had it done on one side and then I never really, I don't know what happened, but it just closed up because um, I stopped wearing it. But these little cuffs make me want more piercings. They're literally just little, like they're not actually, is that gonna, they're not actually piercings. They're just like, I didn't even know they existed. They're just called ear cuffs. I've got a little one up there as well. How cute are they? I'm obsessed. She's obsessed with Amber's arm. Look, she's trying to get into it now. Are you climbing up on the ladder again? You're just a bit too young. But no, she climbs up and she loves it up there. We just jam her in with this little chair and then she does that and then Amber loves the new setup where Mabel goes there and Amber is like, move the bench, move the bench. And she pulls that in and then they have the little corner together and we do cooking and stuff. Oh, lovely. And then you realise, yes, yes. That's, that's what our house is, uh, that's the normality now, guys. That's our life. Food everywhere, mess everywhere. Trying to stay sane. Okay, so, um, I can't remember what I was saying, but oh yeah, I just love these. Just love these. Makes me want to get like five million more piercings. But yeah, I'm going to have a cup of tea now. I've had a good film in the morning, and then we're going to get out, get those endorphins flowing. Get the body moving. Let's do it. Get the blood pumping. Come here, Lev. Come on, Mills. This is a new way, guys. Is it? James, take me on a new route. Gosh, how little have people how? been up here walking recently? Oh, yes. Is it three years ago that I came on a walk? Hello, cutie. Hello. Hello, peekaboo. <laughs> Mabel comes on walks with you all the time. You've got a new girl on the block. It's our daily routine. I know. She loves it. What age then do they like get too heavy to wear in that? Because I think they can go in this I'm, up to like four. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure like... Amber went in this not so long ago. <laughs> yeah. I can't even carry... Like that's meant to be one of my goals that I'm aiming for with my fitness is to be able to carry Mabel uh, in that. But like I haven't even tried because I'm just like, you oh, you, you it. do it, hen. Go on. I quite like, like the exercise. It's, it's good. It's like, like walking with weights. I have made a lot of progress with my pelvic floor and everything, and I do think I would have more strength, but mm. maybe we could do half and half, because I feel like it's the prolonged hour long. Like, okay. the fatigue of the pelvic floor by the hour. We can do that. After an hour, I'm like, oh. But then it's actually so easy to, like, just put down and the other person pick up, so yeah, I should just room. do it. But see, I'm saying it, and I can't be bothered, so I'm not going to do it. But, um... <laughs> I yeah. quite like doing it because you walk so slowly anyway. I know, am so I? <laughs> it kind of adds to my fitness otherwise. Like, no, you, like... you walk so fast. Oh, it's quite muddy still. Um, and also today I booked a blood test because I've been like a little bit, I feel I may have even in this vlog come, a little, come across a little bit frantic. I don't know, I get comments on that a lot and I definitely could have, like I'm, it's a spectrum, isn't it? And I'm sure I could have some ADHD going on here, but I think that part of things I don't feel like is impacting my life too much. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like I don't feel in a bad place with that. But I've actually had some other like more symptomy things like, you know, like my thyroid symptoms before, haven't I been saying that I feel a bit yeah. more like jittery and a bit more like, um, 
it's sort of similar symptoms to what people say like when I'm flustered and stuff. You but felt a bit um, lightheaded. Yeah, that's stuff. the one. Like all a bit lightheaded and then like, um, oh, what was the other one? I can't remember now. But um, after I had amber, I did have quite overactive thyroid. So, um, and that got monitored and everything, like the blood tests and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I haven't had one in a while. But they always say to kind of go back. Yeah. Like I was monitored after Mabel and my thyroid was fine. So I've booked anyway to get a blood test. So I'm going to get tested for all those things because I've just had a few symptoms that I'm just like mm. so there's your reminder because I'm rubbish I will put things off yeah. until like I really am like okay because last time with my overactive thyroid I remember I was literally sweating through the bed sheets yeah, wasn't you I were putting towels down and having to like change towels I was like hang on a minute why I'm sleeping on a towel but then I remember thinking but it was just after I'd had a baby and That's I was like thing. night it's sweats the same with and... everything isn't I it? know it was like every symptom was like just an extreme just, version of what you yeah post postpartum postpartum, postpartum anyway. yeah I was like gosh we haven't spoken about pain and stuff for I so long I feel like I was so clued up and everything I was like post, post pregnancy <laughs> <laughs> I know! We're forgetting all the key words! I know! Um, well, yeah, we can't believe now that also, moving on, it's been a year, like nearly a year since yeah. we had Maple. Guys, yeah. what is going on? A year! That's probably been the quickest year of my life. Do you it think it's been quick for you or flown. not? It has flown. But they do say, don't you, the older you get, the quicker yeah. the years feel. Oh, I know. How is it end of, of Feb? They take up a smaller fraction of your life to that oh. point. It's quite sad reasoning oh, behind geez. it. Because they that. take up a shorter fraction of your life to that point, it seems quicker. If that makes sense. Oh. Because you've got all these oh memories my gosh. of all of the years. Yeah, okay, so like for Amber, year. this is like her second year. This is literally the last year, say, would have taken up half of her life, life. that she's been yeah, existing. Yeah. So it's like so it feels so long. Oh, so long. Like Yeah. Oh, that's wild. But that's how it was explained to me once, and I was like, That's yeah. quite cool, I'm yeah. Sure there's other reasons as to why years sometimes feel quick. Obviously, if you're busy, busy, years feel yeah. Busy, and I think, like. But then also, I think if you're busy, they can feel quicker. But then also, if you're not busy, they can feel quicker, because, like, every day's the same. Yeah. You're like, what did I do the last year? That's flown. <laughs> like, nothing. And then if you have a really busy year, you're like, wow, I did so much the last year, which then in a way can make it feel longer, because you've done so much. Do you get me? I, and anyway, whenever I say it, it's gone really quick, I then think back and think, actually, no, that's kind yeah, of also gone really slow. Ago. Yeah, because when you think back to different things, they yeah. feel really long ago. But the year on the whole has gone quick. But I'm like, can I even remember being pregnant? No, well, that was a year ago now. I'm yeah. still pregnant. Yep. Like, what? Another three weeks. What? I was pregnant a year ago. No, that's just crazy to me. Um, so yeah, things things do feel feel fast and slow. Years are so but... long and years are so short. <laughs> They're so long but so short. We're getting deep, guys. <laughs> and I'm just crying because I'm not used to this uh, wind. Oh, I don't know I'm <laughs> There's like no wind. <laughs> There's no wind in the air. I'm just not used to being outside. <laughs> it's like when you get emotional, you don't understand. I'm just not used to the wind. I'm outside and I have been for a while. Hey, fever. <laughs> Literally. Okay, guys, we're back from dog walk. James is what a shocker. Over there, doing his worky. But I've mixed it up. Oh. I'm using my iPad oh. my laptop. <laughs> you are good at mixing up a screen. Yeah, He's got the iPad on. Easy. There's me prepping, prepping a video over there. Um, working with River Island. That's really exciting for me. That's a first. And I don't know. I just always love like working with brands where like, you know, when you've just known them since you were literally like a child and you're like, oh my God, like I just love like, I love popping into River Island when I was a teenager and I used to go to like the shopping centre. Why I've put my American accent on for that, the shopping centre. Um, and yeah, I just get like a, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is my job, I'm working with River Island. Anyway, also on that note, Primark have sent me a little, I thought we could unbox it together. Primark Beauty. Ooh, Primark Beauty. Maybe they've seen, you know, I'm into all my beauty bouginess in 2024. Ooh, this is a very bougie unboxing. Oh no, it's all falling apart. Oh, I see, this is a book. Oh, wellness journal. Love it. God, that is a bit of me, guys. That is literally giving me plan, reflect, repeat vibes. I'm obsessed. I love anything like this. I have so many. I'm so into my beauty, like my skin. I'm so into my hair care, like 2024 has been wild for my hair so far. I started at the end of 2023, but you guys know I have thin, thin hair and it is getting, I'm like not sure what to do with the, the like, look how thick my wobble is. Guys, 
Yeah, I know it's not, it's a bit greasy and a bit flat today, but my bubble literally, I swear, used to be like, I'm, I'm on it. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is a post-shave serum. Okay, what's this one? Ingrown Zone Exfoliating Body Serum. Nice. What's this one? Anti-chafe body balm. I've got to try this and tell you if it works or not, because this is going to be a game changer if it works. And then this one is Just Peachy Face Serum. Ooh, very interested in this uh, anti-chafe serum because... It's not something I had to worry about when I had a thigh gap, but that smells unreal. Now, it's definitely... Oh, and that feels good too. I wonder if that's going to work. I'll let you know when I try it. We need some heat and some shorts first before we try it. Thank you so much, Primark Beauty. That is very, very lovely. James is working. I'm going to make my 18th hot drink of the day. Actually, should we mix it up? Should we have a Coke Zero? Guys, mix up, same, same component. Just another bit of caffeine in the bod. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, go on then. We'll have a Coke Zero, guys. Come on. Loves it. I have drinking too many hot drinks today, so should we go all out? Have a bit of ice, have it in a nice posh glass. So Mabel's gone down for her, I don't know if this ice machine's gonna work. It's a bit to uh, hit on this. Uh, Mabel is napping. She's just gone down for her second nap. James is doing some work. And then, is he popping out somewhere? I'm sure he just told me something and it's just gone in my head. In my ear and out the other end. Um, and I am... Um, oh yeah, because he's going to pick up... I remembered. He's going to pick up Amber today rather than um, his parents drop her in. So when Mabel wakes up, we're going to cook HelloFresh together. For the evening meal so then we can collaborate it so me and Mabel cook HelloFresh, Amber picks, James picks Amber up, meet back for a dinner, dinner time, bedtime, bath time, that was the wrong way around, dinner time, bath time, bedtime, my head's gone, see this is why I have to like keep keep strong at this time of day because it just gets chaotic and I'm hungry too guys so I'm having a banana with some peanut butter, my favourite um, and that's, that's that. So guys after literally forever like no joke i can't even remember now but our like banner on youtube has like i think it was from when we got mila like literally like six years ago i hadn't updated it hadn't had anything in it so i just went really simplistic i just copied like a canva template and put in our own little pics so that's the new we finally guys have a new youtube banner i did one for my channel as well actually here and there's my channel one for my fashion channel Got some new, those are the type of things that I just put off forever, like I never get done. Well, yeah, as you can tell, six years ago, I think we changed our banner on YouTube. But it's finally been updated. Woo, woo. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, hi. Who's that? So Mabel has just woken up from her nap. She's climbing up here to join us. Hello. Hello, cheeky. Do you want to have a look at these? Oh, you'd enjoy looking at these. Look, they're shaky, I'm careful. Colourful, your favourite. We lock you in. You're trapped in now. You're trapped in now. We're just waiting for Amber to come back. Um, and we're gonna cook Hello Fresh. This is what we're having tonight from Hello Fresh. Mushroom risotto. I've just finished sort of semi-editing today's video. Obviously I'm still vlogging today's video, but I've just been compiling it all together. I say editing, I'm just compiling it all together for our video editor. My hair is looking like a spiky haystack but we're going with it guys it's fine so me and mabel are going to cook this now while we wait for amber you ready you want to help you gonna help me making our way through the cooking you munching on banana and cheese are you back to your cheese now are you yummy um i've just put the mushrooms in why are mushrooms literally every time i cook them i'm like why do i not have mushrooms like breakfast lunch and dinner they smell so good they and when we go out like we'll have like posh mushrooms on toast and things like that but then when you're at home i forget about them do you get me it's like avocado i literally always 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 order avocado when i'm out and about and i always try not to but it just always sounds too good like avocado and sourdough toast yeah i'll have an avocado there sitting on top of the microwave and i can never 
be bothered to do my avocado on toast. I'll just have my Weetabix instead. You know, it's that, that type of vibe. All right, pressing my garlic. Because I'm such like a, I think because of my dyslexia, I'm so, like I reread it. This is why I love HelloFresh because it's so like easy to follow. But I'm like the worst person to cook with. I can't do two things at once. So I'm literally like, right, Mabel. She does it with me. So I'm like, cook the mushrooms. Okay, once they are hot, add the mushrooms. Guys, another thing I wanted to say was even though we don't, is that on my face or on the screen? No, it's a bit of fluff on the screen. Even though we don't show the girls fussing and stuff like that, they definitely do. And I always feel the need to say it. Like this is what I've resorted to. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. That's what I've resorted to, to keep you busy. <laughs> I looked on my um, calendar today and it was like, Mabel's going into her leap tomorrow. And I was like, oh no. Like I noticed when they're in their like development leaps and they're just like agitated, fussy, like as babies are all the time. I mean, she's not even a baby anymore, she's a toddler. But it goes on and on as, as any parents know. But yeah, I, obviously we don't show the times when they're like crying or fussing, but I never, I never like it when I watch a vlog back and I'm like, I hope people don't think that the girls are that like like that all the time because they're not. So I always feel the need to go and come on and say they are not like that all the time. They fuss and they cry and they have tantrums just as all other kids do. Um, so yeah, I always feel the need to come on and say that. And this is what I've resorted to this time to keep Mabel happy. Banging on uh, Colinda. So yeah. Well guys, wonky camera. This is a, the last resort. Holding Mabel or any child whilst cooking. Luckily, we've just got the mixed herbs to add in. Do you know what? I've gotten to this part of the recipe and I'm like, I've done something wrong. I'll show you now. I've gotten to this part of the recipe and I'm like, I look like I'm a five-year-old who's made a potion in the garden. Like, look. Like, that's not right, is it? I've made a stew when it's meant to be like a risotto. Just trust the process, guys. Guys, I just had to read the next uh, line on the recipe and I would have known it said to put it in the oven. So it's in the oven now, it's all good. So I've regained my hope in the risotto recipe. We're waiting for Amber. We really miss her. Mabel misses her so much when she's gone. It's so cute. There we go, guys. Woo! It did work out. Thank you. Right, okay, come on then. Let's play again. Woo! Okay, lie it down. <laughs> Girls have gone to bed. James said he's cringing. In fact, he's playing pod again. I'm doing it in silence, which is hard, oh is it? You've removed all the gunshot noises. Thanks, darling. Really appreciate that. Um, I'm at the stage of the evening where I light my candles. I think I spoke about this before, but I tried to set like a little um, like routine where I would light my candles as like, that's my like sign to my brain that it's like, no more time on your phone, no more working, because I know it's no secret that I struggle with my uh, work-life balance so I feel like I struggle to get off my phone in the evening and just chill out so when I light my candle and I like try and have a oh, funny thing in my head that like if I have to go back on my phone and do work then I have to blow out all my candles. <laughs> I'm now gonna chill for the evening Um I'm gonna basically do a bit of that one's gone I'm gonna do a bit of my family therapy while James plays a bit of cod lol um, I'm just going to plan for tomorrow, plan for next week, and do my reflection, a uh, bit of journaling and stuff. Um, I literally just do it for five, ten minutes, but it makes such a difference. And then we're going to watch the programme which we've been obsessed with. What's it called? One Day. One Day. One Day More. One More Day. No, it's so good. I'm hooked. We're hooked, guys. Hooked. I can't believe there's 14 episodes, though. Oh, I just burnt the sideboard. I thought there'd be like eight. I know, there's so many, because they do basically one day every year. I know. That still doesn't mean that. 
Yeah, but then I was saying to James, that's why there's so many episodes, because otherwise they'd only span over eight years, whereas now they're span enough, spanning over 14 years. Anyway, I'm hooked. I can't wait to see what happens. Don't tell me what happens. Apparently, it's really sad and everyone cries, so I'm excited for that. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening to my waffle, and we will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Love you, bye. bye.